the church of the third cop completed. I'm just going to go inside now. And there was quite a few Barbaries in there. Right, on the roll of honour for King and Country, Ladock, August the 4th, 1914 to June the 29th, 1919, we've got four Barbaries, spelt B-A-R-B-A-R-Y. We've got Arthur Henry Barbary. It gives the regiment whether they're wounded or not. I can't read that. It's something battalion. Light infantry. I think it would be Cornish Light Infantry or something like that. Devon and Cornwall Light Infantry. It's a 4th Battalion or 14th. And you've got Joseph J. Barbary, who was wounded. He was a sergeant in the 1st Battalion of the Devon and Cornwall Light Infantry. Samuel, could be T. Barbary. 3rd AM RFC Corps. I don't know what that says for. And then we've got Harry Barbary. He was a driver for the Royal um, something Corps, R-A-S-C. So we've got four Barbaries that were in the First World War. That's pretty good. There might be some miners as well. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, you've got one, two, three, four miners as well. George W. Miner, he was a gunner. Ernest F. Minor, he was a sapper. George P. Minor, he was in the Royal Navy. Um, Lewis R. Miners, 7th Battalion of Devon and Cornwall Light Infantry, killed in action, uh, I think it's the 8th of October in 1914. So that's the Miners, in case they're related as well. They've got an outdoor camera, and I don't even know if that turn out. I'll have to say. Anyway, it's a nice pleasant church. It's got a, some good stained glass windows, an organ, um, place where you ring bells and that. Yes, overall quite a interesting church really. Somewhere where some Barbaries were married, christened and married. Biggest fine jet of Barbaries in the graveyard. There's a hell of a lot of flies around. Just before I go, I think I'll call out the name of a Pierce, Joseph Pierce. March 1819, age 51, and Grace Pierce, his wife died January the 25th, 1801, age 60, and also James Pierce. Um, he was, looks like, 48 years, 1920. Right, it's, um, quarter past three now. I don't really know how you turn around in here. I'm going to have to go out and have a walk, I think. Anyway, that was really good, that church. That was the best find yet for the Barbaries. Uh, I've got other... I've got four hours, and I've got to go to that St. Vernon yet. But it's been well worth everything I'm doing. Inside the porch, on the, on the way out, I've taken a picture of it. It's a large, slated tombstone uh, fixed to the wall of a Nicholas Cornelius. Who, died, who was buried in 16-something or other, uh, 1632, I think, uh, which is, hit all the writing about him goes around the edge, and then in the middle of the, the stone, you've got, like, skeletons and skulls. So that, that's quite interesting. That was very old. That's 1632, of a Nicholas Cornelius. And I also took um, a picture of Jesus Christ um, that someone had drawn at some point, and that was quite good. I went and took one with a flash, because I didn't think the one I took earlier without the flash would work. Right, it's scorching hot. It's time to make our way to very, very nan. And I go back out the way I came. Hurry on that road. I don't know. I'll just make my way up that way. Throw away the lead off.
signs and then you don't get a sign. Get stuck in the maze of these roads and never get out of them. The thing is, I am limited to time, really. And I've got to find my way back. up at tree school. We know we've got to go. That was grandpa. That's me trying to find my way to Varian after leaving Ladock. I'm just going to put the other tape on just to see if that, that carries on. Then I'm going to stop it and do Varian separately. So we just hang on a minute. Right, yeah, I got to Varian in the end. It was quite a. I've deliberately recorded the journey in the in the VW though, because I like the sound of its little ticking. You know, it's a personal thing. Uh, why I like the sound. It's it actually sent me to sleep for over twenty minutes a minute ago. <laughs> this is Sheila, two thousand and thirteen, going back over the cassette tape recordings I did in two thousand seven before I got video, before I got digital camera, and all the rest of the stuff. I, they're still useful to have though, these cassette players, when it comes down to it, they're still very handy to have. Right, so next recording after this will be the visit to Varian, where Peter Barbaries have been known to get married there. Over and out for now. <laughs>